Hey guys, this is Dave Vass coming back with part two of the video demonstration looking at Holy Cow Apps. And in video one, we looked at how simple and easy it is to use the software to create a custom mobile app for your business. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what you need to do to publish it. Now, before I get into that, I just want to touch on a few things that I didn't uh, get to in the last video. I, I actually created a new app for one of my companies. So this is a real app that I'm going to submit and use for a company that we have. It's called Local Online Advertising Experts. We help local business owners uh, advertise online and that's partly why we created this software, Holy Cow Apps, because we saw a huge need in the marketplace for it. Um, now if, the thing I wanted to touch on is first of all you can drag the like button if you want to add that you just drag it down now to move the like button you got to click outside in this area to move it if you click right on it you won't be able to move it and then you just simply enter in the URL of the website or the fan page so I'm going to enter in the fan page and we're going to click save you see that there's 83 now it's 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 not blue anymore because I've actually already liked the page so it's showing that I've liked it um, so that is pretty simple and other than that I just want to remind you a few things that as you scroll over things they pop up on the property window you don't even have to click so be careful because if you want to edit let's say the chat window right here so let's say that you want to ch edit sorry the chat tab name you have to scroll down and around because if you scroll over this it changes the name over to the right notice if you look to the right as I scroll over here it changes the name so anytime you're trying to edit something just keep in mind that you as you scroll over something it is going to change for instance in the location if I want to edit this I just want to remind you that I go straight off the screen and onto there and I click save always click save if I want to edit this, I do the same thing. If you don't click save, it's not going to save it. So anytime you make any kind of edits, make sure that you click save. Once you get used to it, it's it's going to be like super easy. It's just there's a few nuances that you have to catch on to. Um, but once you get it, you're just going to be able to build an app in a snap. <laughs> so anyway, um, so now I also added a video page. I wanted this is real videos of testimonials from our company so I added that as I talked about in the last video you can actually add if you're if you're advanced user you can add an HTML widget um, if you want to display like uh, listings if you're a real estate agent you just have to make sure that you follow the instructions you just drag it in and you can add it so I'm not going to get too much into that but if you are a little bit more advanced you can use those kind of features so that's it so now once you're ready to publish your app everything looks good the chat I've left it in it, it's live you don't have to do anything with it notifications it's set you don't have to do anything put in my video page have my home page got my contact location appointment oh appointment form um, if, it, if you want a background image and there's not one showing up just click on images and you can upload one or you can pull one off that we already have there and it does say please wait every once in a while but I'm gonna just pull one in so now I have a background image and make sure you enter in the email address that you want the lead sent to so I'm gonna enter in the email so I, I just clicked on the background I enter in the email that I want leads sent to I click save I'm gonna change this so that it just says submit I'm gonna click save changes it everything's good so now I have everything set so now I'm gonna go up here and remember that I have to title this you can't put spaces in here by the way so I'm gonna say LOA experts I'm gonna click set so I've called it LOA experts and that's gonna be the title of my HTML5 mobile site as well I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna move on to the next step click publish do you want to add push notification in your app I'm gonna say yes uh, if you don't know what that is um, just Google it but push notifications are a very powerful feature I'm going to click publish now and when I click publish now it just takes a couple seconds now it says congratulations you've qualified to get a free HTML5 mobile website version of your app now this is exciting because holy cow apps is the only software that I know of that gives you a free HTML5 mobile version of your app in other words it's it's uh, it's exactly like your app everything's there the features the live chat 
the news feed, everything you just built, you now have a mobile site that does what your app does and it's for free. So if you don't have a mobile site for your business, you can use this. So you just click set up now. And again, it takes a couple seconds. And as soon as this loads, I'm gonna just click on let's do it. So just give it a couple seconds. I'm gonna say let's do it. So now this is my URL for my HTML5 mobile site. We actually give you instructions. If you wanna copy and paste this in an email and send it to your web guy, and then make sure you copy and paste that as well, and then give them the link, you can actually um, do that. And, you, and of course, you can email the link to yourself as well so that you have that link. So I'm gonna just click email, it says sent successfully. Um, now keep in mind, this site is not gonna look right in your web browser. It's meant for a mobile phone, okay? It is a mobile website. So this is this is meant to go, like let's say a user goes to your business site but they're using a mobile phone. You can use this code to redirect them to this site that you just built and it's your mobile site. Okay, so now we say uh, if you wanna share this on Facebook, that'd be great. Um, we have a little uh, message. It helps spread the word about Holy Cow app. So we'd really appreciate um, if you just simply click the share button. It would help us a lot for your friends and family and everybody to know about Holy Cow apps. Um, we'd really appreciate that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to next. And this is an important step. You have to put in the app name. So I'm going to put in the, the name of my company. And then in the description, this is really important because you want Apple to approve your app. We cannot guarantee Apple's approval, but we can definitely make it easier. By leaving the live chat and the newsfeed, it makes it easier. But the app description is a description about your app, not about your company. So I'm going to say, this app is designed for our customers to help increase communication. Our customers can now stay in touch with us via our news feed, push notifications, and live chat features. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm just making this up as I go, by the way. Um, so I, let's just leave it with, leave it like that for now, but you wanna describe your app. So this app is designed for our customers to help increase communication. Our customers can now stay in touch with us via our newsfeed, push notifications, and live chat features. So, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. You can make it a little bit, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna to do too much more than that, but um, that gives you an idea that I'm talking about the app, I'm highlighting the features of the app so that when an Apple reviewer reviews it, they're like, oh, okay, this is a functional app. They're talking about, you know, enhancing communication with their current customers and, and stuff like that. Now, the images. Your app is, when somebody downloads it, there's an icon image that goes on their phone. So you have to do that. So I'm going to click on um, my logo. Usually that's what you're going to use for your icon image is your logo. And we've already, we, we take the file images from uh, the app builder. So we're going to click next. Now you have to resize it within the lines um, of, of here so that uh, it looks right. So I'm going to click crop and you can see that that's what it looks like. I'm going to say okay. So not, it doesn't show it here, but you've you've done it. So as long as it says okay, everything's good. Now I'm not going to say, I don't need a splash screen. I want it to go straight to my home screen, so I'm just going to click don't need it. Now your iTunes username and password, this is a very important step. Leave this blank if you don't have one. Because like um, you have to get your Apple developer uh, I, account and we teach you how to do that. It's not hard to do. I have a video. I've actually been through it a couple times. If you register as an individual um, developer through Apple, it'll only take you a couple days to get approved. So just leave this blank if you don't have it. Don't worry about it. Still go through the checkout process. You can always come back later in your control panel and submit your iTunes username and password. The reason I tell you to keep going and check through everything and make your payment is because um, we can still submit Android because you do not need a username and password. Now we give you the option in case you do want to have your own account, but if you don't, you're not required to. 
Um, it's only the Apple Store that requires that you have your own developer account, so we can't do anything about that. You have to go and get that. But for Android, we can right away submit it. So if you just leave that blank, um, that'll be fine. So I'm going to say I've read and agreed to the terms of service. I'm going to click Done. And now the next step is that your total is $39. Now it says you will be billed $39 every month, which gives you access to unlimited updates, news feed, push notifications, and live chat. So the setup cost is $39 one time. The following month, you're going to be billed $39. So it's $39 a month uh, to have a custom mobile app for your company with all those features. Now you just click this button. And we're gonna click. We're actually gonna make payment. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna actually log in here. Now it says that you're making payments to My Mobile Marketing, which is the company that owns Holy Cow Apps. And we're gonna say yes. Everything's good. Agree and pay. And hopefully everything just goes smoothly here. And it says, yep, thirty-nine dollars a month. Um, now I'm I'm gonna say return to my mobile marketing Inc. Now I'm pretty sure we've set this to go back to Holy Cow Apps. Let's just, you know what? We'll fix that. It says error right now, but uh, all we have to do is go back to HolyCowApps.com, and I'm gonna go to my profile. I've made payment, and now I can go into the control panel. And I can now look at open my live chat, push notifications, new feeds. So I'm going to actually go to push notifications. I'm going to send a push notification. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that right now. You can do that, but what I want to show uh, in this video is the news feed. I want to click on news feed. I want to add news feed. Here's the news feed title. So I'm going to say test. And this is a test to show you how the news feed works and then I and I can actually do a link if you want to hypertext and add a link you can do that I'm gonna click send now I'm gonna pull up my mobile site that I built which was holycowapps.com forward slash LOA experts or LOA experts now remember it's not gonna look right on the website it's it only looks right on a mobile device but for the sake of this video tutorial Oops, that was the wrong URL, HTML5, I forgot to add that. Okay, for, so for the sake of this, I'm going to just show you, you know, it doesn't look right on a website, but for the sake of this demonstration, you're going to get an idea. I'm going to click on notification, and you can see the news feed is working. I just wrote this news feed live in front of you, test. This is a test to show you how it works. Now, the live chat is really cool, too. You just have to open it up. You go to your uh, live chat, I'm going to go back, you just open it up like this, you click on it, and it, now your messages are here. So if somebody goes to your live chat, in order to test this, I recommend you do it on your mobile device. All you do is the user, the customer puts in a username, so they just put whatever, they just type it in, they click start chat, and they can start chat to chat with you, okay? And it will show up right here a pop-up will happen and you can start communicating with them news uh, push notification is self-explanatory you just go in there you send notification really easy to do you click send it's gonna push a message to their phone so that is how that works um, and of course this shows your apps so there you have it I mean I want you to play around with this I don't have time to go into all the details I did want to show you the news feed because the news feed is something I think a lot of you are going to use again the 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 chat window you can keep open so if you have an administrator they can keep it open and if you don't want to use it you just click close chat and that's it so if somebody goes to chat with you on your mobile site it'll just say that you're not available so that's it. That's how you do it, guys. And if you want to go back and edit your app at any time, you simply click on Go to App Builder. And when you do that, it's going to actually load the app that you just built. So you can edit it. And when you edit it and you click Publish, it just says, hey, you're going to have an updated version of your app. So that is how easy it is to use Holy Cow Apps to build a custom mobile app for your business. We hope you've enjoyed these video demonstrations. And uh, other than that, we, we really 
wish you well and uh, we know that this software is going to help you build a really cool app for your company. Thanks for watching. This is